You know, guys, I really do my best to keep up with every single thing going on on the internet and all the electronic games and such, but I just can't do it. I lose the bubble, and I've done it again. Um, one A subscriber, I'm going to call him Dr. Don, has uh, made me aware of a game called Doc, I'm sorry, Mr. Sherlock. And on eBay and other places they sell... Uh, doc, uh, Mr. Sherlock toolkits. Apparently, it's got a lot to do with lock picking, and these toolkits sell anywhere from fifty dollars. I think I saw one up to eighty dollars. So it got me curious. I got to looking around, see what else was available, and I found this. This is a twenty-nine dollar uh, kit from a co company called Mastering the Lock. There you go. I'll put the link uh, in the description. Mastering the Lock gives you what the others are selling as a toolkit, which is inside of here. We'll go over that in a minute. And then they also give you, and I guess this Mr. Sherlock game requires some kind of spontaneous lock picking. Uh, a little credit card to put in your wallet and carry that around to be ready at any time to max out your score, I guess. And then for those of you who want to excel at uh, Mr. Sherlock got this training lock. You guys have seen these before, these clear plastic locks. So if you've never picked locks, this would be a good training lock. You can pick it and see what's going on on the inside of that lock. So you can associate what you're feeling with a pick to what's actually happening inside the lock. So you get all this plus you get an ebook about how to pick locks. So let me go ahead and take, you've, you've seen these things before. Let's go ahead and open up this kit and take a close look at what we get from mastering the lock for twenty nine dollars alright guys as you can see everything fits very nicely into the kit these little wings fold out so it keeps everything organized for you so it makes it easy to get uh, it is not leather it is leather like but uh, it's not about the case guys it's about the kit and I've got to say this is quite a surprise and I'm gonna tell you right up front I think this is a good deal for a beginners kit it's more than a good deal I think this is probably a very good bargain for uh, people who are beginning lock picking not sure if you're gonna stick with a hobby for very long you don't want to invest a ton of money you get a lot of things in here that I really wouldn't have expected so I've got it organized let's go through it very quickly um, let's take a first look here we have a total of 16 picks now I reviewed a very similar kit to this uh, quite a while ago is video number 771 about a kit called Ubesta. I found it uh, on eBay, I'm sorry, on uh, Amazon. And in construction, it was very similar to this one. This one's a little bit better executed, though. Uh, these are made from spring steel. It is, um, it is 25 thousandths of an inch thick. It is full shank. It goes down the entire length to transfer the feedback. And then it's sandwiched between these two shiny bits. Um, it is riveted. I've checked all of them and quality wise, none of them move around or jiggle. They're all uh, riveted very tightly. So I wouldn't concern myself with that. Um, spring steel is a very durable material. It's also very inexpensive. So it's a good trade off. If you're a beginner looking to save a few bucks, this is probably a good way to go. Now I will tell you at this price point, you can't expect a whole lot of hand finishing. And if you look on there, you can see there's some you know, where it's been punched out, there are some sharp edges. And with this size kit, you're probably going to have to spend 20 or 30 minutes with sandpaper, rounding that off and getting it. But there, once you've done that, you'll never have to do it again with the kit. Um, five hooks, starting with a standard hook and then going all the way up through what I would classify as a postal hook. Um, we have a couple of half diamonds. We have a large half diamond and then a, a small half diamond. These are great for raking. Sometimes you can single pin pick with these. Uh, they're also good for turning, putting in a lock sideways and picking uh, dimple locks. Again, same material. These are, they're not bad. The only thing I noticed quality wise is the rivets in a couple of these are in opposite, but it doesn't affect function at all. You get two picks that I really would not have expected to find in here. It, you have a deforest diamond on the bottom and a deforest half ball on the top. I love using these in locks that have a real deep cut uh, pin in the very back of the lock. Sometimes you can't get that postal hook into the keyway because of low cut 
pins in the front, these you can. Very nice. And this is an example of what I was talking about there. Both oriented vertically, and then the rivets are opposite. I'm, I'm just anal retentive. I, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. It doesn't affect function at all, which I know what you guys, you're concerned with that. Uh, you get a couple of uh, ball picks. You get a, a snowman or eight, figure eight, and then you get a full ball. So if you're trying to pick wafer locks as part of your Mr. Sherlock game, those would be the rakes that you use real quick to get past wafer locks you get an l rake or a city rake um not bad i mean shape wise it's okay need a little sanding but that's it uh, very nicely executed and then you get a series of move him off to the side it's a little different you get three snake rakes of various uh, different angles let me pick them up and take a look here they're different angles and let me turn them over like that well it doesn't really matter Different angles, so you got one snake who's kind of jumping up, one jumping straight ahead. He's actually uh, kind of upside down on the bottom here. Flip him over, and the rivets line up. Wonderful. Anyway, the different frequencies, so if one rake has the wrong frequency for the pins, you can, like a smaller keyway, you can jump to a smaller uh, rake to get, get at those pins. And then you get one pick. Uh, it's a kinetic attack. It's not really a rake. It's called a W rake. Um, you put it in and you yank it out and it kinetically bounces all the pins. This one has a reinforcement right here under that last one, which is becoming more and more common. And that's good because if that were cut right there, like, like similar to these, when you yanked it out, that would be a weak point. So they've gotten past that. You don't have to worry about it. This ought to last you quite a while. Here's something that did surprise me. Uh, you get a really wide variety of tension wrenches. You get the one that you're probably going to use most common, this little Z-wrench. And they're all medium thickness, but one of them has a twist. So this is a really inexpensive way to get top of the keyway. It just works bottom of the keyway on one side, top of the keyway on the other. Very cool. Um, you get a couple. One is a double ender. The other was just a regular flex. This is a little bit thinner, flexier material than the double ender, a little bit thicker. And then you have one. This is called a tulip tension wrench. So if you're picking a lock that has a doorknob on the door, you can put this in the lock and then that will get you around the doorknob or the thumb turn. So it makes it a little bit easier if you have a little bit of offset like that. You got a couple of picks here, or tensioners I wouldn't have expected to find at this price point. You have a tensioner for shutter locks, so like door locks for cars, uh, uh, any lock that has uh, designed to be used outside where it has a little shutter that closes to cover up the keyway, slide this in and then you pick between those slots. Very cool, pretty efficient. And then the last one is a tensioner that I personally have never used. I understand it's very popular in the UK. This is a letter box or a tensioner. So I'm not saying that the guys in UK are using this to read each other's mail, but, you know, the implication is there. It's possible, I suppose. I'm not saying it really happens. Anyway, for $29, you get everything you see here. You get, uh, I think I showed you this already, the practice lock. So if you're learning to pick locks, this is a great tool. It's not the ultimate in training locks, but it'll darn sure get you on the right path. So you can see and associate what's going on inside the lock with what you're feeling on the pick. So pretty useful tool for that. You also get the James Bond credit card. So if you're out and about and you want to score some points for Mr. Sherlock, however it is you do that, you got a kit to do that with. Pull that out of your wallet and you can be the instant hero. If that's not enough, all you got to do to win this, you don't get my ruler, uh, but go to that website, and in the middle of the page is a huge purple button. Click on the button, register to win, and next Saturday my webmaster will pick the lucky winner of this kit. I also have one more thing, since in the spirit of things, my anal part coming out again, in the spirit of this being a beginner kit, um, Learn Lock Picking has donated a... Uh, ultimate challenge lock. This is a top end training lock. You get all kinds of cool stuff in there. For you guys who haven't seen it before, I'll open it real quick. So you get a top end training lock. Everything's drilled. Everything's threaded. All the plugs and everything you need are in, I believe, this envelope. You got keys. You can key it up. And then you got a wide variety of replacement parts, security pins, spools. You got mushrooms. You got a little bit of everything inside of there for to learn how to pick. So once you get past learning on this lock, this would be a great one to move to. By the time we get through with this, you can master. You'll be the, the Mr. Sherlock Meister. Anyway, fellas, enough joking around. It's a great kit. It's, it's a pretty good bargain, I have to say. A lot more than you would expect for $29. Anyway, thanks for your time. Stay safe. Stay legal. Stay legal.